Okay guys, welcome back to TMB Designs and today I'm going to show you some really quick and easy DIYs that you can do for any holiday. For this particular occasion, I'm styling for the 4th of July, but I'm simply using, as you saw, the DIY, um, the napkin rings for Dollar Tree. I have ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Those are some picks from a old Christmas stem, hot glue gun, as well as hot glue sticks. Now, what I've already done is I've taken my ribbon and cut six inch strips to wrap around the base of my silver napkin rings. It's so versatile, but I want to show you guys just how easy it is to create this particular napkin ring. As you can see, I am simply just using my hot glue to adhere the ribbon to the actual ring. Again, this can be done with any style, any decor, any holiday of your choice. Now that my ribbon is secured, you see how easy that was? Two easy steps and it's done. I am now going to embellish it with these beautiful stars for the 4th of July. This would be gorgeous if you used a bling wrap ribbon and a beautiful brooch of some kind from Totally Dazzle, Hobby Lobby, or any of your favorite craft stores. But look how cute that is, you guys. Easy peasy. Let's do another one. Take your napkin ring, apply your hot glue, adhere it to the ribbon, roll your ribbon over. You're gonna glue that down and repeat just like that. Moving on to the next DIY, you guys, I am repurposing a Christmas garland here. At this point, I have removed the old Christmas decor off of the garland and I have added a red deco mesh. And I'm simply now fluffing out the deco mesh and I'm going to begin applying or attaching other items to this garland. All items used here were purchased from Hobby Lobby. I purchased the deco mesh at 50% off and then here is a shorter, the 10 inch roll of the burlap pattern. I am simply doing little fans with the deco mesh. I cut 15 inch strips of the 10 inch deco mesh and I'm creating those beautiful little fans or bows with that particular ribbon. Very easy. The key to make this design flow more easier is to pre-cut all of your supplies. Now, as far as the red deco mesh, I did not have to pre-cut that, only cut off the excess when I reached the end of the garland. And here, of course, I did not use an entire strip of deco mesh. I just used about a third of it because this is not a full six foot garland. I maybe cut it into probably a two foot or maybe three foot strip. And again, now I'm attaching the 10 inch burlap ribbon to the garland. And no need to worry about the fig stems that you see because once I am done adding all of my layers, you will not even see those and you can easily discard them or fold them back into the bottom of the garland so that they're not visible. Thank you. 
Now that that's complete, we're going to move on to the third layer of ribbon. A key, the key to a beautiful piece is layering. You want to layer, 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 because it just adds more dimension with each level of layering that you do. So first layer was the red deco mesh. Second layer was the burlap 10 inch ribbon. And now I'm coming in with a four inch double foiled blue ribbon. And it's giving me that patriotic vibe that I'm going for in this particular design. Now here I am just free flowing. I don't necessarily have a pattern. I'm going tuck one, loop one to just give me a lot of volume with this particular design. I love the organic flow that it's giving me. Most pieces will look high end or luxe when you just give it a more organic feel and not look so stuffy or so patterned. Just let it flow. Allow the ribbon to just have its natural fold. And what you come up with is a beautiful, beautiful creation as you see here. not done yet you guys once i've added the blue ribbon we're going to add even more layering i've gone ahead and pre-cut each of the ribbons into 15 inch strips and then i cut the fishtails to each one of them for the sake of time on the video but what i'm going to do now is just take any combination of four different patterns and in each loop i will attach four creating the little fluffy bow effect so there i have four different patterns and I'm going to attach it. Then I'll move on to the next section and do the same. And as long as your ribbons coordinate with your theme or your colors, you can't go wrong. There is no right or wrong way with this. Just choose patterns that you love, colors that you love, and go from there. And you guys, this particular garland is very cost effective because all items, again, were purchased from the Dollar Tree and every item was purchased at 50% off or less. Some of the Christmas, the red was part of the Christmas as well as the blue, they were actually 80% off. So just because it's sold in one season doesn't mean you can't use it for another. So the red and the blue and the burlap were actually part of a Christmas sale last year, but all of the patriotic patterns the stripes the stars and stripes those were actually purchased at 50 percent off so just just another little tip on how to save and get the biggest bang for your buck fan them out and it just creates more and more volume Another great thing about this, you guys, it's very forgiving. If you create something or do something and you're not in love with it, simply re reattach it and move on. It's not rocket science. Just go with the flow and allow your creation to come to life. And as you can see, as I'm adding each section of ribbon, it is just giving me a beautiful, full, lush piece. This can be hung on your door. It can be hung on your fireplace mantle. It can be used as a centerpiece. Just however you choose to style with it, the possibilities are endless. Any color, any theme, any holiday, just go with the flow and let your creativity and imagination run wild.
what you end up with is a beautiful centerpiece like so and look at those napkin rings you guys if you have not already hit that subscribe button and join my tmb family i would love to have you here we are a growing and loving community full of positivity and creativity I also would love to interact with you on my other social media sites, TMB Designs 2 on Facebook, TMB Designs 2 on Instagram. So until the next video, I pray you all have a blessed 4th of July holiday.